DPP lawmaker Yao Wenzhi is locked in a war of words with a member of his own party as he continues his bid for Taipei mayor. Earlier this week, Yao's campaign accused DPP city councilor Gao Jiayu of being a traitor by supporting independent incumbent mayor Ke Wenzhi. The DPP councillor retaliated, saying that Yao wasn't attending to his duties as a lawmaker and should, therefore, resign his parliament seat. Today, Yao issued a reply that could come back to haunt him. Under pressure to resign as a lawmaker, Taipei mayoral candidate Yao Wenzhi hit back at his opponents in a radio interview today. And with one statement, he dramatically raised the stakes of the Taipei election. If I lose, I will withdraw from politics. As for whether or not to resign from the Legislative Yuan, of course the entire party team will need to come together and discuss it. I can accept any decision. No one is asking him to withdraw from politics. What Yao Wenzhi should be doing now is working hard to put forward policies and political philosophies to convince the public to vote for him. That's the point I want to make. Not only is Yao fending off barbs from other DPP members, he is also grappling with attacks from the new power party. Once you've registered your candidacy for mayor, are you expected to stay on in the Legislative UN to perform your duties? Of course not. And under such a circumstance, you continue to receive a lawmaker's salary as you conduct your personal campaign. What kind of logic is that? In this year's local elections, no fewer than 12 national lawmakers have tossed their hat in the ring for mayor or commissioner. They've become inadvertent casualties of the war between Yao and Cao as attention turns to whether they too should give up their seats.